Hey guys, it's M16, I'm back, and I have finally got myself the T110 E5 Tier 10 American Heavy Tank. Um, some stats for the gun, 6 rounds a minute, 258 penetration with AP, 340 with heat, 400 average damage for both AP and heat, with 515 for HE, 0.35 accuracy and 2 second aiming time. It gets 2,000 hit points, 254 millimeters of frontal hull armor, although the size and rear are abysmal with 76 and 38. The speed limit is 37 kilometers an hour with a 25 degree traverse speed and a 20 degree turret traverse speed. It is less maneuverable than the M103, but a little quicker by 2 or 3 kilometers an hour. Not a huge difference, but the power to weight ratio seems to be a little bit better. I do still kind of suck in this tank because I've only played like 20 matches in it. So uh, don't judge me too hard on how I'm actually, how good I actually play, or how poorly I should say. Um, first game is on mines, and I am by myself. Uh, yet, yeah, time everyone to go hill and to follow the mediums up the hill. And once we get there and get into position, we should be able to do our thing in Reckham. And then this ISU does God knows what the hell he's doing. Like he he backed into me, <coughs> saw, slowed me down, turned broadside, slowed the person to the right my right down, and then drove into the rocks. <laughs> Yay. That ISA is actually doing what I did at the very beginning of Blitz like a year ago. I would always, I would do the short flank and then pop up behind them and then they wouldn't know what to do because there was a I would do it in my KV-1S and then there'd be a KV-1S behind them and they'd be like oh my god I don't know what to do and I won a lot of games that way but <laughs> this way it's usually not helpful and boom right there between the second and third drive wheel is where the ammo rack is located on most Russian vehicles if not all so if you want to damage or blow up the ammo rack that's where you got to aim. And yeah, my uh, machine gun port's sticking out, so you gotta fix that, or else I'm gonna take a lot more damage. I'm gonna do actually take a lot more damage if memory serves correctly. I'm trying to get a shot on this Death Star because I want him dead because he can penetrate my Coppola with Hesh, and then I'd be one very dead T1023. Um, what I like to do on heavy when I spawn on the good side. Not the side that the enemy team's on, because that's the bad side. Mine's just horribly unbalanced. Um, what I like to do in heavy is I like to go in the spawn, and then I get sh I get shots on the people down where that E100 is, and I get shots on people who are trying to go up after the medium tanks. And uh, it's a great position to just get shots on multiple multiple people. And the weaknesses of this spot are, if there are tanks over by the lighthouse you will get shot by them <laughs> and you won't be able to do anything because you'll be pinned down by the people at the lighthouse so but there's no one there because I killed the T-54 with an ammo rack and because the IS-8 and one of my TDs I guess the ISU is over there so my flank is secure and I am able to work over these poor fellows and yeah I've got Equipment, I have, let's see if I can remember, I've got fence, vertical stabilizer, and a large caliber tank gun rammer, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get the, find the gun depression to shoot this guy in the lower plate, and I missed a couple of times in his upper plate, or just hit the dirt, because I'm a little, either a little too slow or a little too quick on the trigger, or RNG screws me over like over there. Right now, I'm just putting some damage in and free shots because no one's even trying to kill me. And then I'm like, hey, I'm going to get a good damage, and then someone damages him, so I get like 30 damage kill. Oh, well. And, yeah, I'm just going to sit here in the cap because there's no way in hell I'm going to get over to the 4502B in time to do any any sort of damage at all. Um, Yep, he's on fire, and he's dead. Good game, 7-1. to one. Only one we lost, I think, was our IS-8. And post-battle results. 
4,123 damage, 35,336 credit profit, and the T-54 from, I think that's a feeder clan of Sparta, or like a Sparta 2 or something, did fairly well with 3,000 damage himself. Yeah, I missed a shot and bounced two that I hit, so not too good. But, mm, RNG, what can you do? Um, did most of the damage to the E100, and I <laughs> put one shot in to ammo rack the uh, T54, which was nice. And I think I'd do some more garage stuff here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see? Large caliber tank gun rammer, vertical stabilizer, and vents. Trying to get this gun singing, and that's what the E5's good for. It's got a very well-balanced gun. That is great for ripping apart medium tanks. And, yep, second game, Fort Despair, still all by my lonesome. And then I see that there's a Titan Platoon and a Patton that's in XPD. Hmm. You know you're screwed when. <sighs> oh, well. Yeah, I'm telling my team to go left because I figured that the IS-7s would go to Heavy Alley and take the good hold down spot over there. This is the really bad side if you want to go to Heavy Alley, so I'd never like to go to the southeast section on this map when I'm in a heavy because it's just, it's you don't have that excellent hold down spot. And it's if some, if they get an IS-7 or if you're in tier like a T-32 or something in that hold down spot, you're, just, you're not going to be able to do anything about it. So I don't go down that way. Especially because they're going to have two IS-7s there, if they do what I think they are. And so my plan was to go and take out the mediums, aka the M46 Patton that's in the Expendables clan, out first, because he is the biggest threat. And I go over here, there's no one over here. Uh, my team is fairly well uh, dispersed, I should say. We have deployed, I guess, yeah, deployed would be the correct word. And there's the Expendables guy. I guess he didn't decide to advance as far as I thought he would because he was by himself. He probably saw that and was like, screw this. I'm going to sit right here. And I see the IS-7, one of the IS-7s from Titan. And I leave my IS-7 to deal with the T-28 prototype. I'm going to help this IS-3. Over yeah, it's an IS three. This IS three over here. No, that is an IS seven. I'm blind. I'm sorry. That screen is tiny when I'm doing the, the commentaries. Uh, try to do a snapshot on the patent. Uh, finger is a little bit too slow on the trigger. And right now, I don't see the other IS seven, which worries me. And there he is. So the Titan guys are split. So now is my time to rip apart this guy. While I, well, he doesn't have uh, his clanmate as backup. And he does have the KV-4, however, which did put a shot into me. I'm still pretty bad in the E5. I'm still learning it, obviously. And then, yeah, his clanmate came, and I realized I'm screwed. So I popped adrenaline, loaded heat. And damaged him once. He put a huge shell into me. He does a hell of a lot more damage per shot than I do. And then somehow that bounced. And then the Patton that I let get away. Because I didn't want to chase him down. Because I thought my I-7 was going to deal with him. Ended up finishing me off. Good play on him. Poor decision on my part. So now we get to watch the results of my mistakes. And we get to watch me trying to help my team uh, figure out that they, sh they should surround these people. Because they are all on the high ground and bunched together. And they outnumber them 6 to 3. Which, if you're not good at math, is 2 to 1. Which is fairly good odds when you have 2 tier 10s and then 4 tier 8s against 2 tier 9s and 1 tier 8. So, yeah, sorry about the sniff. I'm it's cold here. <laughs> it's been raining for like a day and a half straight. Oh well. Yep. We're going to win this pretty easily. <laughs> I'm trying to tell him to track the patent so he can't just run away if he wanted to. But, uh, 
There we go. Tiger 2. And he bounced off the rear of the patent. And this VK 4502A is seemingly royally screwed, but he, uh, the uh, guy in XPD decided to stop and just accept his fate, which is nice. Ended the game a little bit quicker. And post battle results, I did like 2,000 damage, which is not good at all. But I got a Confederate. So hey, something came out of it. Um, yeah, I got carried pretty hard by my team. And here's some post battle results. I got my first and only Nichols Nichols's medal. And it happened to be against an XPD platoon in Conquerors. And uh, I didn't actually kill a second one. I only killed one of them. The other one, I was like on 26 health or something. And the other guy had like 100 health. So we were both one shots and I didn't want to risk it. But hey, I still got the medal. And it's the only one I have, so I'm actually pretty proud of it. And, yeah, BTSV, it's it's fun. And, yep, the only Art of War medal I've gotten <laughs> in the entire game. And I uh, aced the KV-5 on the third match. Anyways, this is M16's World of Tanks Blitz replays. I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a nice day.